Hello friends, in this video we are going to see Merge Sort. Merge Sort is one of efficient sorting algorithm. Let's take a look at how this Merge Sort algorithm compares with other sorting algorithms. So if we take a look at the time complexity, the Merge Sort algorithm has n log n for best average and worst case which is one of the efficient algorithms compared to algorithms which has time complexity at n square. And the space complexity for merge sort is O of n since we are using temporary arrays for sorting. Let's take a look at the algorithm. In merge sort, we are checking whether if the right is greater than the left, then we are continuing with dividing the array into two equal halves. So we do L plus R by 2 so that we would find the middle element and then we call the merge sort again for the first half of the array and then we call the merge sort for the second half of the array. We keep doing this until we have only one element per array. And then after you split all the elements, now we are going to merge the splitted elements into the single array, which is what we do in the step four. Call merge array of length L, mid and right. Let me show you an example with which you can understand more easily. So we are taking the array which is of seven elements and then we are splitting it into two. So three and then four. So the first half of the array has three elements and second half of the array has four elements. And then we are splitting it further into one and two elements. And in the right side, we are splitting it into two and two, which is even. And then after this, we are splitting the elements again. So now we have four, three and five, all individual elements. Similarly, in the right side, we have 2, 6, 1 and 7. So all the elements are now separated. After this point, now we have to combine the elements back. When we join these elements back, we are going to do the sorting. So 4 is the only single element. So there is nothing to sort. So we bring it back as 4. In 3 and 5, when we compare, they are already in a sorted order. So you can just bring them back. In 2 and 6, they are already in sorted, so we just bring them back and 1 and 7 is already sorted. So now in the next iteration, we find that there are three elements, 4, 3 and 5. Now we are going to like compare the elements in the left and the right. So if the left value is greater, then there we are going to do a swap and then the right array comes in first and the left array comes in second. And then any other additional elements would be brought in as as such. Similarly, in this one, we are comparing the first elements 2 and then 1. 1 is smaller, so we bring down 1. And then we uh, compare 2 and 7. 2 is smaller, so we bring that down. And then we compare 6 and 7. 6 is smaller, so we bring that down. And there is only 7 remaining, and we bring that down. And then we are going to combine these two arrays. So we are comparing 1 and 3. 1 is smaller, so we bring that down. And then we compare 2 and 3. 2 is smaller, we bring that down and then we compare 3 and 6, 3 is smaller, we bring that down, we compare 4 and 6, 4 is smaller, we bring that down and we compare 5 and 6, 5 is smaller, we bring that down and then 6 and 7, 6 is smaller, we bring that down and then 7 is smaller, that's the only element actually, so we bring that down. Let's take a look at the implementation in Python. So as we saw in the algorithm, so the length of the array has to be greater than 1 and then we are going to find a middle element which is length of array divided by 2 so which would give you a integer so now we are splitting the array L is the first part of the array M is the second part of the array so now we are calling the merge sort in a recursive fashion so that we would be able to uh, split the elements into two different arrays and then here we are doing uh, initializing the variables i, j, k equal to 0. And then as we saw in the example, we compare the elements. If i is length than l and j is less than m. So that is when we would be able to compare. And inside that we compare the value of each element. Length of i and m of j. And then if the value of l of i is less, then we do a l of i equal to array of k which means that we are putting it into the new array and then we are incrementing the counter of i so that we can compare the next element in the left array. Here else we are putting the value from the m 
and then incrementing the j counter so that we can iterate to the next element in the m and then we are doing a while i less than length of l and y j less than length of m uh, this is because if we have uh, done with the comparison here we are having an and condition so when we compare the equal number of elements there may be some elements left in any one of the array maybe in the left array or in the right array so those elements would be brought down to the array so which is the reason we are iterating over the uh, left and the right array so that we would make sure that there are no elements left out we are splitting and then this is a divide and conquer approach uh, for sorting so the time complexity is n log n and then we are using the array of array uh, so here which is like a temporary array so which would take uh, comp uh, space complexity of n um, that's it for this video. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and if you want to um, learn more about the other sorting techniques, then please um, press the bell button to get notified when I add more videos on the sorting. Thank you.